I watched with several of my family members, and right from the get-go, once Biden opened his mouth, it was like, you know, it was it was shocking to us. And I've watched a lot of debates throughout my life, and the 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 thought that kept coming through my mind throughout the night was, what a poor reflection of American society this is. Or maybe I mean, our society <laughs> is struggling, uh, but this debate made us look worse than it actually is. You know, it was shocking. <laughs> And the state, you know, the state is only good at a few things. A, they're good at destruction. Yeah. And B, propaganda. But propaganda is their, this is what they specialize in. You know, this is a organization of people that sucks trillions of dollars away from us. You have to have almost perfect propaganda to pull that off year after year. So, uh, but their propaganda just fell to pieces yesterday. It was like the Wizard of Oz where they just pulled the curtain in front of the entire world and showed this is what the United States is. What a huge embarrassment. I mean, I think it's a fitting analogy, though. You have two geriatrics screaming, we're number one, we're number one. I mean, that is the state of the country in a way. I mean, and I think it was, you know, it was not surprising to you and I and, of course, our viewers who are very astute. But I think it was a surprise for, the, for a large portion of the country that gets its news from the mainstream media. You know, they have Corinne Jean-Pierre saying all of, these, uh, all of these clips and things of Biden looking like he's lost it. That's just cheap fakes. It's totally untrue. Uh, but trust us. Trust us. Well, it turns out they lied to us again. It wasn't a cheap fake. It was a reality. And I think a lot of America who believes the mainstream media uh, got a wake-up call yesterday when they saw the realities. And the thing is, when you look at all the Democrats now, all the pundits and talking heads, it's as if they believed all of these lies the whole the whole way through. It's like they're shocked. You know, many people that are on X on, on social media, it, this wasn't shocking. We've yeah. we've known this, yeah. you know, but they've been denying it so long. But you know who else is shocked um, because they probably knew it. And you're right. They lie all the time, which is the mainstream media. And there's nothing they want more and demand more than power, the power to be the gatekeepers, the power to project government propaganda onto us, rather than, of course, you know, Chris, the role of the, of the fourth estate, which is to challenge the power uh, on behalf of the people. That's what the media is supposed to do. Well, we're a sick society in the U.S., and so they feel have the opposite role, which is to protect the power because we get the goodies. Well, from the looks of the uh, papers this morning, Chris, they are in full-fledged panic because, as you uh, appropriately pointed out, uh, we've seen the wizard, uh, and it doesn't look like we were promised. This was American democracy in action. It was a total embarrassment on television. The entire world saw it. And I thought to myself, you know, our country has destroyed so many nations. I mean, we could sit here and list them all, turn them to rubble in order to bring them democracy and freedom. <laughs> I mean, what a disgrace. And, you know, we're supposed, we used to be the land of the free. You know that they don't even talk about freedom. The, the word liberty doesn't even come up. It, they, it, they never even mention it. It's all centered on the government. I'm going to do this. We did this. We gave free this. We're bringing prices. It's all about them. It is nothing about the American people. It's nothing about freedom, nothing about liberty. They won't even say the words. And, you know, I'm sure that the world leaders that watch this saw this and say this is a nation that is you know it's just a matter of time yeah that's a great point chris that's exactly what i said as i as i took my empty wine glass to the sink last <laughs> night when it was done i said they were both competing now i gave more to the people no i gave more to the people no i gave more i do want to make one more comment about biden he kept saying it last night that we are the envy of the world you know and i'm like this is not the night for you to be saying we are the envy of the world yeah. we are not the envy of the world the world is trying to extricate itself from us. They're joining their the BRICS. There's like 50 countries that want to join. They're stopping using the dollar. We are, we are not, and, and that's the thing that has to turn us around, is we have to start being truthful with ourselves. This lying to ourselves and to the world is not getting us anywhere. It's just making things worse. Yeah, the people, the thing that people actually admire about America, the government does its best to stamp out, you know, our ingenuity. We had a chance and perhaps Americans weren't ready for it, but perhaps someday they will be ready for it. When somebody like a Ron Paul comes out and says what he said, I don't want to run your life. I don't know how to run your life. That's not what the government is here. You're free people 
to live freely, the government will be in the background to enable free people to you know, create a society that flourishes. We are on the polar opposite end of that spectrum where it's all government all the time. They can't stop talking about themselves and what they're going to do. Uh, you know, so we can turn this around. Perhaps someday somebody will come with uh, Dr. Paul's message and the American people will be ready for it. That's something exciting.